Yeah. <laughs> One time he was a, he said a motorcycle. I think he was doing something on his motorcycle. Is a at an event of some kind, like maybe at Harley Davidson or something. Yeah. And they had a bikini bike wash going okay. on at the same time. Oh no. And Mason, somebody I guess thought he was a woman and starts like, "Hey, you there? Like, hey, sweetie!" Oh, cat calling him, you know, because <laughs> yes. he's squat down like doing something. He's got his Daisy and, Dukes on. <laughs> his ponytail around. He's like, "Bro, what?" And then, <laughs> and the huge beard. <laughs> and then the dude's like, "You heard me. <laughs> You're exactly you what I wanted." <laughs> This is Georgia. I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry, Georgia. I think I'm like, what's that movie? He's got those Georgia peaches going on, man. Wee, okay. the fuzzy one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Da -na -na -na. Boom. Da -na -na -na. So Mason just wrapped the whole first part of this. Do you know that? that okay. Like that. Yeah. So it's time for you to drop a verse. <laughs> no way. My name is McKenzie. <laughs> My name is Big Mac from oh. the ACL. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So uh, your your name is Big Mac from the ATL. I was off on the fly. I don't okay. know. Okay, <laughs> okay. So let's start over. <laughs> hey, I am Jason at Go Power Sports. This is Mini Bike and Ain't Easy, a podcast about mini bikes, go karts, power sports, racing. Sometimes it's talking about the episode about friends. We talk about Golden Bachelor a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I got my main man Zane making sure that we're always in the lane. I got Mr. Bernier on the ones, twos, and threes. Yo, yo. The, those are his fingers. And we have a special guest, our first solo dolo woman. Her name is Mackenzie Kaufman. Hello. Hello. Nice. It's good to be here. So Mackenzie is from Mini Bike Misfits from Georgia. So you had a long ride in from Georgia all the way out to Texas. Yes. Why are you here? Um, this will be the third year that the Misfits have been here. And the third year that I'll be racing solo in the gps 180 yes and we <laughs> nice. are looking forward to that we're just a few days out so you plan on doing 180 minutes on a mini bike all by yourself yes and you did that last year yes and did you do that the first year also um i did have a partner the first year okay. so technically no but she only did a couple laps you know because we ran out of time and so last year was definitely an eye opener for me. Okay. <laughs> As like what true solo is. Okay. At the new 180 track. I'm here doing it again. So let's talk about last Obviously, year. Obviously, you yeah. liked it. You couldn't get enough. I don't yeah. know if like is the right word. <laughs> oh, um, man. You know, sometimes it's like something is, it's tough. It's challenging. You know, it makes you want to do it again. Yeah. And then you do it again and you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> And I'll be back here next year. Yeah. You know? Yes. So last year's race, how long did you go? Did you go the full 180 minutes? Did yep. you cut it out short or anything? No. I, I start to finish. Do you know how many laps you were able to complete? I think I did 16 laps. That's very commendable. I, I believe. I could be wrong. It might be 14. 14 to 16. I, somewhere in there. They all blur together yeah. after a while. <laughs> They really, truly do. <laughs> now, I believe we had a few other women racers, but you were the only person doing it solo. Yeah, I I think so. And hopefully it's not like that this year. I'd like to see more women out there. But at the same time, I mean, we're all the same when it comes yeah. to a mini bike, pretty much. It doesn't really matter about guy, girl, you know, it's your bike, number one, if it can make it. And if you kind of just take it easy on it, you got to make it finish. Yeah. So, yeah. So what's the first to go out in 180 minutes? Is it your forearms? Is it hips? Um, probably my brain. Okay. <laughs> I just feel, I always have this goal of like, I'm going to memorize the track, you know, I'm going to figure oh. it out like best lines and it never works out that way. <laughs> I you... try to stay out of people's way, you know, cause I'm pretty slow. It's not, I'm out there for speed. Yeah. I'm there to be a finisher. Okay. Like, that's my, my goal in the group, I guess. And so... As long as the Misfits have one group that finishes, yeah. that's kind of why I'm there. Okay. And so that's what I'm going to try to do this huh. year. So you must have a pit crew. Is is Tim part of your pit crew yes, as well? Yes, Tim is, in his words, the best pit man on both sides of the Mississippi. <laughs> okay, I, I think I've heard <laughs> that is <laughs> literally <laughs> what we <Lisa> just said. <laughs> so those are Tim's words. It was not a lie. And yeah. so, yeah, he's going to do – I think we only have – Mason and Dakota are going to race together, and then 
I'm going to race by myself, and then we might have a, one or two of our other guys do a lap or two, but I don't think they're really here to, to do the full 180. Um, but you never know. They might change their mind after they do it. So we'll see. So Tim will have two groups, me and Mason in Dakota. And I'm pretty slow, like I said, so he doesn't have to constantly be like, where's your earth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows I'll just cruise on in slow. <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> like, all right, you want some water? And he's like, no, I'm good. I'm just going to stay stay going. If I get off, I'm off. Yeah. You know? yeah. So let's, let's get into a little bit of who is or what is the story of Mackenzie Kaufman? Um, before mini bikes are like at the beginning of mini bikes. Cause I before guess... mini bikes, probably pretty not interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now I need to know what were you into before mini bikes? Um, I don't know. I've always kind of dabbled in different things. I guess I just haven't found something that I like truly love to do. You know, I like to do a lot of different things, but I'm a kind of person that kind of starts something and then eh, get bored with it yeah. or move on to the next thing. And so mini biking has been something that I didn't think I'd like initially. Mm. I was like, honestly, it took me about a year to even race. Wow. I mean, Mason and, and the guys started racing and it made me nervous, man. I didn't think I could do it. I never, I never grew up on bikes. Mm. Nobody in my family rode bikes. Wow. Definitely not dirt bikes. <laughs> so when did you, so, okay, so what was the first race that you did? Um, I feel like I should remember that, you know? Like, you'd think it would be, like, something that would stick <laughs> into my mind. Within the last the, five years, it seems like. The first, oh, yeah, absolutely within the last five years. So Misfits was started at the end of 2018. And so that, the May of that year, I got Mason his first mini bike. Nice. I drove to North Carolina, like three and a half hours away, to surprise him for his birthday. <laughs> With a mini bike. Yeah, because he had been talking about um, wanting one. You know, he he was interested in it. He's always been into different kinds of motors and motorcycles, and so I decided to, to take the trip. And I went up there, and I ended up in a junkyard somewhere yeah. off the <laughs> oh off goodness. the interstate. <laughs> And the guy, he, like, wheels out this real crappy kind of looking, like, <laughs> it was a motovox, okay, it was. And a rusty, like, five-horsepower Briggs and Stratton, maybe. And I looked at him, like, exactly. That's exactly what he wants. That's the <laughs> yeah. mini this bike. Has to be yes, it. that's the one. He'll yeah. take one. Funny, he still races. That's smoke. That's awesome. That is that's, still yeah. smoke. He was telling us. So we also heard that you um, you drove up a tree. Oh, yeah. The is that first true? Time I, maybe that's why I was scared, you know? Like, maybe I'm like, this isn't for me. I don't think traumatized. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I just, I guess I had blind confidence. I thought being so small, you know, and I don't know. I didn't think it could do, go up a tree like that. And it sure did. And um, and it's still going to this day. We haven't seen it since. <laughs> I'm, no, no, it's, like, he's literally racing it in the he's, GPS. The footing. frame has cracked twice, I think, on that bike, and he just keeps welding it back together. And, really? Like, yeah. That's awesome. So I'm yeah. curious, why uh, why three and a half hours for a mini bike? Just because there wasn't one at a Walmart right down the road? I, or? That just, I'm not the best when it comes to, like, buying things online. or okay. like I, I, It was one of the first ones I saw. I, was, I think I spent too much money on it. I remember that. I drove too far to get it. Leaked it gas all in the back of my car on the way home. Oh, what is <laughs> I'm like mini breathing in the fumes, easy. like, please yeah. let me make it home, please. And um, I got there and I was so excited. I made it back home before he, before he got home from work. And he got home. He's like, what's going on? Like, something's <laughs> being weird. And I'm like, okay, come on. Like, walk out to my car. And he, oh, I open up the trunk and he just stands there like, you what? wasted money on this. You, where'd you go to get this? I'm like, oh, I just drove like three and a half hours. Oh, it's like, man. what? <laughs> that is commitment right there. And so um, I was kind of sad. You know, I was like, dang it. He doesn't really, he's not digging it. Like, I thought for sure that this would be phenomenal. And um, I guess it grew on him, you it know? He started, the him. first motor he ever built was on our, our coffee table in like this little mill house we used to live in in Monroe. And I swear he was watching, like, Busted Knuckles and Redbeard's Garage. Like, trying to be like, okay, I can do this. And it took him, I don't even know how many months, months yeah. for him to figure it out. And um, he finally did. And it, it actually, it was pretty quick. And so he was kind of into, like, I think it was Toom, Texas Outlaw Mini Bikes. Mm -hmm. They were pretty big around that time. And really the only mini bike group. Yeah around that was doing races and stuff and so he kind of took some inspiration into that and thought it would be cool if we could, if he could do that like in our state and find a group of guys that would do it with him 
and I would say October of that year is when he did his first mini bike race. Okay. So I'm a bartender. That's like my job. Okay. And in, in real life. <laughs> so, yeah, gotcha. um, I have a, um, there's a lot of motorcycle rally, like riders and stuff. And they invited me to this motorcycle rally in Unadilla, Georgia. Mm. And we went down there and we figured out that they were doing a mini bike race. Mm. And so Mason, it was a costume mini bike race. Like those are big at the time. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and so Mason had this skeleton. He was the bone daddy, and he's riding his his little mini bike around. And everybody's in like capes and all different kinds of little costumes and stuff. It's a requirement to race. No costume, no race. We and need um, to add that rule. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, it's kind of dangerous when you think about it. Oh, like, yeah, I mean, capes <laughs> and your exhaust. <laughs> yeah, can no. kind of yeah. change. <laughs> I mean, maybe that made it a little bit more, like, entertaining. I don't know. And so he actually won. He won that race. And ever since, I guess he was just born gifted. I don't know. He's lucky. (laughs) Whatever it is. Like, yep. I I don't know. After that, then, after he won, he was like, this is really... I want to do this now. (laughs) I'm good at it. That's a good Mason impression. I I thought Mason had walked in the room. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we're like one of the same kind of you know after a while it just like moves too it's yeah. funny that i said that because honestly he has such long hair that when we race on the track like around the dirt track mm-hmm. yeah um people oftentimes think he is me or i am him <laughs> and like who's that girl she's so fast <laughs> and then i come off the track and they're like oh my gosh you're doing great like, thanks yeah that wheelie you i wear did a lot of pads <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um yeah it's it's been pretty crazy since then. I mean, he ended up linking up with Daniel Cooney, who mm-hmm. was his friend in high school and before that, who also had ridden dirt bikes. And um, I can't remember what, what Cooney's first bike was. I want to say Betty White, one of his white frames mm-hmm. that he had. And so they started just riding around the streets of downtown Monroe in Georgia, yeah. <laughs> which wasn't necessarily liked with the neighbors and everybody in that area in general. And so we had to kind of branch out, like, where can we race? And at this point, like I said, I wasn't racing. Mm-hmm. And I didn't think that I would ever really do it. You know, it's just the guys kind of having fun, like some guys play poker. Yeah. You know, some guys mob out on mini bikes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so Mason started calling around and seeing if he could race on different tracks around Georgia. And everybody that he called, they were like, either what is that or no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a like, oh yeah, come on, it'll be a great time. Yeah. Angel City was really the only place where he could go do that, and that was twice a year, mm-hmm. spring and fall. And from there, I guess we kind of grew. People were like, that's kind of cool. We ended up taking over the mini bikes at that rally because it just so happened the other people that had done it before moved on. They, they didn't want to do it anymore. And so when Mason took it over, we nixed the costumes. Nice. <laughs> we kind of wanted to get rid of the joke of mini biking. Okay. Like, I think oftentimes, like, people don't want to do it because they think it's it's funny yeah. or, you know, they'll get made fun of. But then you they see how fast you go. Yeah, and they're zooming. And then you kind of gain respect that way. And so the people that used to laugh that ride mo- bikers, you know, on their mo- big motorcycles or whatever... They're honestly some of our biggest fans at this point. Like, mm. and we just keep getting faster and faster and faster. Yeah. So that that's actually a, a, a good segue into. So how do you guys keep getting faster? What is your training like? Like, do you guys just go out and you just are riding every day and pushing it, or what does your training look like? Uh, my training is really non-existent. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I'm not a big on training. I'm not I'm not a big trail rider either. That's why the 180 is like a kind of big thing for me just because it's something that's hard for me to do. Yeah. Now Mason, he's been training pretty heavily for this one. We have a bunch of trails behind our house. They're granite and they're they're rough. <laughs> I mean, very similar to the 180. Okay. And he'll go out there. He made Dakota go out as partner to determine if Dakota would be allowed to race with Mason or not. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, that seems very tryouts. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so um, Dakota passed the test after after a few rides, but um, it is brutal out there. And so Mason, he's pretty strong anyway. I mean, it's a back flow. He's always kind of been just like a, I don't know, kind of redneck, I guess. Mm. So strength is something that kind of he was born with. Yeah. But the endurance is something that everybody has to work on, yeah. you know? So I guess with two people, it makes it a little bit better. You're only running... 90 minutes rather than 180 but that's yeah. still hard yeah oh, for <laughs> you know? sure. so, so flat track or i guess flat track 
practice. We really only get to practice when we race. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh, so man. it took us a while to get fast yeah. and to figure out flat track mini bikes in general. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was something that nobody really did. And if they did do it, they didn't have to deal with the red clay that we have in Georgia. Because mm. oh. the red clay is like non dish soap. But oh, it's, really? It's slick. Oh, it's wow. almost like wet concrete. Oh. That's even tougher. Wow. Yeah. And so that is part of the reason why we have modified our bikes in such a way and that's also why we race right mm. part of the misfits kind of like, yeah. <laughs> your guy, yeah, style you guys are, like yeah. our swag everybody makes fun of us for that too until they kind of understand why we do that and that was the only way we would be able to race mm -hmm. on dirt tracks was to not have our our sprockets dig down into their track and tear yeah. it up so you had to go we had to race the opposite way. Yes. And I mean, if you're a good racer, you should be able to race both. Yeah. You yeah. know? So. <laughs> no, I, I, I like that. I like it because it is also, it does, it forces people to look at the track differently. Because I was, I was going to ask if we ever have plans to change the 180 track to going the opposite direction, like doing mm. a reverse run on it. Because I was like, man, it, w it would be a very different animal if you had to go up Pucker Up Buttercup. Yeah, it would be nuts. Now I'd want to try that out tomorrow. Oh, okay. You know, right, we, now we got it. some goals. Okay. I think the misfits will be ready. You know, we're like ambidextrous. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you guys are already very experienced riding winter shins. So, yeah. <laughs> now we have bigger tires and stuff. So it's not, we necessarily don't have to continue racing, right? But if somebody on a small tire bike wants to come out and just try it and see if they like it, it gives them the option to do so and us not be banned from whatever track we're racing on. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> the trails we left behind, they were pretty ugly. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he was saying you guys were gouging out the track and then all the go-carters were like, that how the, dare you? And the kickstand, like that oh, and yeah, the sprocket. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Real bad. So what projects are you working on right now? Or what's your next project bike looking like? Um, Mason deals with the projects. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mason's the wrench. So um, his mind is very geared for that. Like, I mean, I'm. it amazes me sometimes. Like the sidecar that he built, my first test drive, when I found out that I had to test drive it, I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I did not, like, I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, but I just didn't have the confidence in it. He didn't do any equations, like mm. no math. Where That's how my brain works. I'm like, what is the geometry of that? Is the physics yeah. going to work? I don't know it, but, like, I think it's important. <laughs> He's like, no, I just welded some stuff together. Look, it bends. You know? <laughs> He's like, go on, get on. And so I reluctantly got on, and lo and behold, it made it, and it was awesome. I mean, he did run over a dead squirrel. Oh, nice. It splattered right up all oh, over me underneath the sidecar. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, like a <laughs> Gallagher <laughs> show. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <put it> <laughs> <Put it. laughs> so I'm curious. So when you ran up the tree, when's the next time you really started getting on a mini bike? Was it years later, months later? <sighs> it would probably – it couldn't have been that long, you know, because – my biggest thing with me is I hate to be embarrassed. Mm. I will die of embarrassment before I die of any mini bike crack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the thought of me wiping out in front of people and like them seeing me was way, that was the mortal fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. like, no, absolutely no way. And so I went and I was trying, I would ride like occasionally down in Angel City. Angel City is where I always race. Okay. So down there, I didn't really care. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because I only see those people twice a year. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. My brain is strange. I any, guess. any embarrassment you feel can only be twice a year. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I mean, and, hey, I'll never see these people again. Yeah. Yeah. They come back every year. <laughs> like, I remember that time that you did that. It was yeah. crazy. <laughs> and honestly, getting hurt. Like, yeah. I, like I said, I was not raised on bikes. I could barely ride a bicycle. Mm. I mean, it was not something that I had a natural ability to do. And so I figured... If anybody was going to get hurt, it'd be me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so I have works. I work on Mondays, the weekends, you know, like they're fun, but the responsibilities still have to come at the end of the day. I can't oh, just yeah. give it my all, yeah. I guess. So does that adjust how you view and like your style of riding? Because you're like, that, is that why you're cautious a little bit? or I'm cautious with other people, but when it comes to Mason, like, no. The no. competition is real. <laughs> and it is. I know that we can race well together. We, it, I guess, our team in general, like we're more comfortable with one another because we know how each person rides. I know I can cut 
in on Timmy on the inside, you know, mm. and I know who each person is and how they ride and what I can do. Yeah. And I guess that makes the show a little bit better. Like, if you come watch us race, like, the things we do are sometimes like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but I know kind of what the next move is going to be of that person. Mm. Yeah. But when it comes to other people like the 180, I'm super, super cautious because mm. I don't I don't know everybody and I'm not trying to hurt anybody else. Yeah. I'm definitely not trying to hurt myself. And that's kind of plays a factor, I guess. Okay. But with Mason, no. All out. I'll do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to beat him like I want to. So what is, do you guys have a running tally? What's like the win-loss between you guys? <laughs> okay, Mason's win-loss in general is a lot of wins. Okay, oh, okay. very okay. few losses. Gotcha. But <laughs> I do have one win. <laughs> okay. One straight up win. I beat him. I beat Daniel. Nice. Everybody's bikes were pristine, yeah. all fast. There was no weird hiccups. <laughs> like nobody wrecked. Like it was a straight up race, and I beat them all in Cherokee, North Carolina. Nice. Um, we actually have a picture. There's a photographer there, and we actually bought the picture. It's above our mantle. Nice. <laughs> it's me in the front, like. <laughs> picture we gotta get that photo from you yeah yeah so i'll get one for y'all you know okay. <laughs> okay. oh my god can look at it every day and be like, yes, oh, yes. Do it. please do Mason. we will we Go will get McKenzie. it framed yeah it'll be part of the set yeah, okay. we, yeah. we will throw it <laughs> honestly show. yeah we will throw it right there next to that neon sign <laughs> it was great now i mean this season cooney just had a baby and stuff he's been dealing with with that so he's taking a little step back from the team um congratulations yes Coon. yeah yeah congrats dude Daddy, daddy. But I've been running second place all year, all season. Nice. So we've raced with Michael from Indiana. We've raced with some guys that usually race, like, on the street, street bikes. I don't know what that's called. Um, street bikes. Yeah, street, yeah, bike street bike good. races yeah. that works. on motorcycles, yeah. like fast ones. And they yeah. came out and raced, and I'm still pulling second. There so I go. think that I've, honestly, when I look at, like, old race footage compared to how I race now, Drastic improvement. I'm sure. You know, and like, I guess practice. I mean, if you practice enough, you'll get faster. Yeah. Brick by brick. Yeah. That's all you got. That's what you got to do. So it. I guess I'm pretty proud of that. Like, I guess, I mean, to only be beat by Mason. I yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Great for me. <laughs> what, uh, what what mini bike are you on? I race a bike. It's called Fuego. So Mason Fuego. has Smoke and I have Fuego. Nice. And they're pretty much the same. So they're both moto boxes. Both motors are... 212 cc motors okay but mine was built not by mason okay because i didn't believe that he was going to give me the full power oh yeah that seems like something <laughs> oh mason okay yes, that makes trust, sense you yeah. know what i mean like yeah. i mean he loves me but he loves to win he definitely yeah. loves and to win. he's not gonna give me an advantage when it comes to that and that's yeah. part of the reason i love him like i know when i win it's 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 Legit, real yeah. it's not oh yeah what you have that one yeah. like no you tried your hardest like <laughs> i know you did and so actually ryan barrett the goat built my motor Nice. And so I've trusted that. I knew that I had the power and then I would be able to beat Mason if I just was good enough. You know, it basically comes down to skill yeah. at that point. And so I was a kind of probably a year at most behind the guys, but everybody was new to what oh, we were sure. doing. Yeah. I feel like if I had to start racing now with the group of people that we ride with, I probably wouldn't because mm. I just don't see it being feasible. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. As a new person that had never ridden a mini bike, to just go out there, in which we've had some people try to recently, and it has not ended well for them. Yeah. Really? And like so, hurt? Yes. Okay. We've had two broken collarbones from high sides. Like, mm. And I think maybe the pressure that we put on other people to go fast, or maybe Mason makes it look easy. You know, like, he doesn't even look like he's racing sometimes. Like, he's just out there like... Yeah. I so I got that footage uh, that we have from the GPS 180 video from last year. Link up here and down below. Um, but I have that footage of him just like he hit that dirt jump and he went ten feet in the air and just landed. And he just like yep 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 and just takes right off, man. Like nothing yeah. had happened. And I was watching. I'm like, man, I feel like I would have spent a long time going over my decisions that led to this moment. Yeah. So it's, it's crazy. I mean, we have very different minds and very different approaches. Where Mason, he just does it. Okay, he doesn't do any research. Like he doesn't care. He's just gonna do what feels right. Whereas me, I have to know every little thing. Mm. 
Me, I'm I'm Googling like oh, flat track, uh, geometry, <laughs> physics. I'm like, okay, the apex, it's right there. I'm right, my angles, like my tire pressure. But I actually have taught Mason some things about flat track racing that he didn't even know. Oh, good. Nice. And so research is important. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I guess I don't have confidence if I don't know everything that can happen. Yeah. If I, I don't know yeah. if I do this, I'm going to do this, or this could happen, or if I lose my brakes, what's that like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to have all that information in here so I don't freak out. You're not, ra- so are you, you're not racing the Motovox and the GPS 180, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I'm racing my uh, Trailmaster Hurricane. Okay. How many bikes do you think you have? Is it those two? <laughs> do you have more than two? Well, Mason says some bikes are more. Okay. In order to have so many. <laughs> that's your bike. What do you mean? Like, oh, that frame in the shed, that's mine? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. <laughs> I'm glad. Got Thank another you. bike for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it over here with your other ones. Yeah. It's like mine over here. Riding it around the yard. No, no, this is yours. This is yours. <laughs> he still rides mine. It's like my car. He drives my car. He has three cars. He still takes mine. Nice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like mine just aren't good in these conditions. So is Fuego your favorite of, of, of your bikes? Um, I guess the bikes that I do have are all drastically different. My true bikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I have my drag bike, which is a RCF from Evan. Um, it's very finicky. It's very... It took me a long time to get used to it, and it did scare me a lot. Yeah. Um, just the size of it, and... I mean, it, it was hard for me to learn that one. And then I have my big tire, my Trailmaster Hurricane, so call that my cruiser. Okay. If I'm like, don't want the booty ho- sore, you know, we're going to go yeah. do something. <laughs> That's my go-to for that. <laughs> Riding around in Angel City at the rally, I use that one a lot. And then I have Fuego, which is strictly my dirt track, like circle track bike. Okay, gotcha. Okay, uh, cool. The f- before we move on, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break because I want to hear what you had to say. Let's throw it to our sponsors, and we'll be right back. The Trailmaster Hurricane 200X, a high-performing mini bike with front and rear suspension that can take on any terrain and keep riders comfortable no matter what they throw at it. It has front and rear hydraulic brakes, a powerful 196cc engine, and a headlight to keep things lit. With so many features and things to love, It only gets better because we have plenty of upgrades available to take it to that next level. The Hurricane 200X by Trailmaster. Get yours at GoPowerSports.com. And we are back. So you just talked about your drag bike, the RCF Mm -hmm. Mini Drag Bike. You said it's a little finicky. How fast do you, are you getting on this drag bike? Just as a gauge, I'm just curious how long an eighth mile may take. Um, so the fastest, the way, the drag strips that we race at, they've tried to explain like speed and time to me, which it doesn't really comprehend mm. in my brain. Um, the time slips, the fastest I've ever gone on the RCF is 68 miles an hour. Wow. On my other bike, which was a Motovox Frankenstein, is what we call it. It's like welded together bits. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Frankenstein. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, I think I went 72 on that one, but it doesn't really have brakes. So uh, you, you oh. can look at the bottoms of my shoes. <laughs> like, they were my brakes. <laughs> oh, God. And so, <laughs> which was the reason for my new drag bike was for the brakes. But it being so, so small, it's the micro drag. So they have the standard one, you know, and then they have the micro. Mm. And so it's like tiny, yeah, tiny, tiny. Oh, okay. And like little kids want to race me, you know, like, that's awesome. Like little dirt bike kids that are learning yeah. how to race on the, on the drag strip. Like, I want to race you. <laughs> and then we race and they're like, I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or they want to ride it, which would be cool if they did, you know, but it, I mean, I've never had a back tire so wide, mm-hmm. I guess, trying to race anything. And I, I guess I had blind confidence that that would make it easier. Mm. I'm like, oh, gee whiz, that's perfect. <laughs> Do you use a drag bar? Um, it comes with one. Okay. I don't like, so I'm kind of scared and cautious and everything that I do. So my preferred style of drag racing is not so much off the line, but 
a grad, like at the end, okay. kind of an increase in speed. Okay. So I'd rather not blow myself off, like right off the beginning. I'd rather kind of get down somewhere <laughs> people can't look at me, you know, if something crazy happens. <laughs> I'm going to be alone, okay? <laughs> and that just gives me a little bit. So I don't technically need a wheelie bar. Um, I have it, and I actually have taken them off before just to kind of see how it would feel. I would love to use it one day, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I just don't know. Gotcha. How would you feel about testing perhaps a new drag bike frame? No, oh, I don't mind at all. Oh, really? Because mm -mm. conveniently, right next to Jason is the <laughs> drag <laughs> rascal right there. Oh, look at me right in the face. <laughs> That's a yeah. great size. And hopefully we can get it out to you guys because we need to test it out as much as possible. Taylor has taken months to develop it uh, so it is really modular it's a slant bike it's a drag bike you can add wheelie bars if you want to you can go live axle you can run bearing style you could add front suspension if you really wanted to you can run a torque converter yes you can run a longer seat uh, you can our, run our new gas tank our new uni tank yeah. uh, so we are excited about this so hopefully we can send one out to you guys so you guys can race it around and, and yeah, we would love we'd love to have you guys out for the gps 660 at the end of march if it lines up Oh, with exactly. your with your uh, <laughs> schedule. So. Like, how many minutes is that? I don't think I can no, do no, it. No, 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 <laughs> no. So six sixty is a length. It's the length. Yeah. Of, it's the second. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> six sixty. Like I would love just to come real, but I just don't think I'll make yeah. it. It's uh, it's ten hours or eleven <laughs> hours of soul crushing oh, trail no. riding no, no. <laughs> on a ways. drag bike oh, with, with no <laughs> suspension. No suspension. <laughs> you ride a drag bike on the GPS one eighty track. Yes. That's. What, no, but we're shooting the end of March to have our own GPS 660 to people come out and race. And we want to invite everyone, West Coast, East Coast, Central Coast, Third Coast, Golden Shower Coast, whatever. I don't to come think on that's, that's one, that's but okay. That's not everyone. <laughs> I'm okay. not I don't sure. know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, be on the lookout after we get through this GPS 180. We hope to be pushing this GPS 660. Hopefully to be pushing a drag bike and get you on it. Do you think you would ever go 100 miles an hour on something like this? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not scared of going that speed. You know, you just got to, I just don't want to do it off the line. So okay. Something crazy happens. Like I said, people see me. Yeah, so if you I'm had like an airstrip or so, and you think you can get it over 100, you'd be definitely down to be oh, yeah. that low to the ground. Yeah. That's not low in comparison. Okay. I mean, that's a great size. Okay. That's almost like a full full mini bike. Okay. You might even be able to kind of lean forward yeah. on it. With that's the length. I that's think that's actually player. kind of why it was designed. It's designed I'm, so that you can. You might get not even need a wheelie way. bar on it because wheelie yeah. bars are weight. Yeah. You know, and with mini bikes, weight. <laughs> Oh, for sure. A pound matters. Yeah, you know? especially in drag <laughs> racing. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's why Mason said that that's one of the reasons why you are the uh, jockey for the team. I'm the best one. What yeah. do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so fast. <laughs> No, um, it's because you have great reaction time is what he said. Actually, what he said, yeah. he said uh, she has amazing skills and reaction time, and she's very light. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess um, drag racing was the first thing that I love to do on mini bikes. Is dirt drags in Angel City. Um, I guess actually being able to win something was like, yeah. Oh, that. okay, yeah. And it kind of fueled the fire. And so I feel like women in general, drag racing, women have better reaction time. We have a little bit more reservations probably. But at the end of the day, you know, the ladies, they race good. They just got to get out there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And the weight, it um, does matter. So now that's actually, what is it like being a woman in a predominantly male space? Because you are, I will say, the only woman who was riding solo last year at the GPS 180. But also, it sounds like a lot of times when you go out to these races, you might be the only woman out on the track. I'm one of the guys. You're one of the guys. <laughs> okay, that's you it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. But I'm, I'm thankful for that in a way because racing, I'm, it's nothing against women. But I don't think I would be nearly as good of a rider if I was racing with women. Mm -hmm. You know, because we'd all kind of just be working off one another. You know, there's no real who's the best one, you know, with yeah. with racing with the guys, I have to, <laughs> if I'm you, going slow, I'm getting <laughs> lapped, and that's so embarrassing to get lapped. Uh, oh, embarrassment seems like a very big motivator it for is. you. It is, it's my driving force. <laughs> wow. Like, if you, if you need me to do something, like, yeah. if, if I'm going to be embarrassed by it, like, I'll probably <laughs> succeed. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, I mean, what can we do to get more women out on the track, though? Because, like, yeah, uh, you're saying that, like, okay, so an all-women's league might not have the same level of competition, which I don't necessarily know. I've met some... I feel like women are better than that, that, like, we can race with the guys. Yeah. Like, why Why do we have to why have Why do you have to have a separate league? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, mini bike racing community is small. 
Yeah. And so, I mean, we can just all all get it together. So, how do we get more women out on the track? Like in a non in a in a non segregated fashion, how do we get women to come out? How can we get women comfortable being willing to possibly be embarrassed on the track? Everything I've tried has not worked. <laughs> um, I think it has. It boils down probably to the fact of just bike maintenance, maybe. I know that I don't do any of the maintenance on my bike, and I wouldn't feel confident if I did, really. You know, I like the fact that Mason looks it over. He knows what he's doing. I'm not... Nothing with my bike is going to be an issue, and my bike has never been an issue. Thank you, Mason. I'll give you that. Okay? <laughs> never lost a chain. Yeah. I've never had any mechanical failures, mini bike racing. Yeah. Okay. And on any of the bikes that are definitely yours and not Mason's. Yeah. Yes. He, he wants to make sure I'm safe. You yeah. know, because it does... We're a team in the end of the day. No, we're competitive, but... <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. The, yeah you, <laughs> and I would never let him live it down if I got hurt. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm just, I want my tires. I want my ass. <laughs> so I think it's his motivating force is making sure that I don't get mad at him later and okay. blame him for something. Would you say that... So is Mason basically your main competitor then at this point? Or is there someone else that you're gunning for at the uh, at, at the races? I feel like if another girl came out, I might be like, I might be like, I gotta be her, you know, like, because <laughs> uh, you don't want to be the second best no, of two like, people. Well, yeah, I've been the only mini bike racing girl like on my team forever. <laughs> they get beat and be yeah. sad. No, is there is there an I, I now from your website is was there or is there another woman who's one of the the dozen or so misfits that are out there? Or? We do have Sherry. Sherry okay. races at our local like go kart track in Monticello. So she is a phenomenal kart racer. I mean, okay. fast. Now the kart racing league of women are brutal. Okay, I would never race with them. Like they're phenomenal. They will way rougher than the guys down there. Like really, yes, so they are competitive. And so she took her hand at mini bike racing. She helped us build it. You know what I mean? Nice. She's like, I'll go. I have a mini bike in my backyard. I think somewhere I'll go and dig it out nice. and we'll race it. And she actually raced before me. Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, so she got out there and she started racing it. And then I was watching her and I'm like, well, she can do it. You know what I mean? But she she's a kart racer. So yeah. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, well, maybe that matters. She already knows how. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, this oh, is her thing. Four wheels, two wheels, same yeah, thing, same right? Thing. <laughs> you just divide it by two. <laughs> she knows this dirt, okay? This track. Yeah. And um, no, she's been phenomenal. She really only races there. Oh, okay. And so she's not part of the traveling team. No, okay, gotcha. no, no, no. But she still is a misfit. She's our family. Our Monticello group, they were the first track track that actually accepted us with open arms. They were a new track. Um, Corey McMichael great great person you know nice. he's i remember mason like selling him his pitch and Corey was like yeah man that sounds awesome Three for class. <laughs> yeah. come on out like, yeah. we'll give it a go <laughs> and so yeah just a great a great group of people down there as far as any other women i mean i've had a few people come out you know and they seem kind of interested but like i said it's kind of hard to race with us at this point yeah. you know like even ladies where we used to be able to get a few girls for a powder puff race in Angel City, now the girls are just like, I don't want to race with you. <laughs> like, you're scaring them off. And you're, I'm not going to let anybody win. Yeah. But I'll never do that. You yeah. know what I mean? You want, yeah, you're not going to let them win. <laughs> no. But you're kind of, deep down, you're kind of hoping that you're going to show up and someone's going to give you a run for your money. I would love money. it. I would love it. But so I mean, that's to every woman on the planet, all 3.5 <laughs> billion women on the planet, you now have, the, you know where the target is. It's right too. on Mackenzie's back. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll bring him out, right? We do that. Like, I hope so. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> Just race around. Literally, literally fastest woman on a mini bike right now. Yeah, so. unless someone else proves her wrong. That's, I really don't that's know. That's right, yeah. I, I have no other evidence uh, to the call, contrary. Yeah, call Guinness right now. Look yeah. the record book. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, but I mean, so you said that, like, now, because there's, there's going to be a little bit of a skill gap. Uh, because, like, you guys obviously have been racing for a while. So do we need to make, like, an amateur class? Is that how we help promote more people? Not just women, but, like, how do we get more people to be comfortable racing but not feel like, man, there's no point even showing up because I'm just going to get lapped by Mason and Mackenzie? Maybe, like, a track day. See, like, we've tried stock racing before. You know, yeah. stock racing's cool, but it's very, very boring. Mm. You know, it's boring for the crowd. It's boring <laughs> for the rider, you know, because, I mean, it's... There's not a lot of action. You get spaced out, and it's just soft. You know, it's and to do yeah. ten laps of that. By the end of it, people are like, 
Yeah. And it's boring. Yeah. And oftentimes you get that person and they zip tie their governor up, you know, and Always it's won. never, never fully stock. And so they're just like, Heavier and everybody else is like, spring. what's going yeah. on? Why am I, why yeah. is he so much faster? Yeah. yeah. And I don't feel like it really pushes people to really go faster. Like with Tim, you know, Tim was probably our newest, like, our newest member that we had taken in to the team for a long time. You know, we have some new people now, but Tim was the first person that came with us and stayed. Mm -hmm. And he raced stock. And he was either racing by himself or racing with just, like, kids. Yeah. (laughs) Bless him. Bless you, Tim. I love you, Tim. Um, And he got confident, you know? I mean, he had outgrown his stock after, like, two races. You know, it only takes, like, one or two to really feel out a mini bike, you know? But he just didn't want to make the jump, really, you know? But I'm like, Tim, now your bike isn't stock anymore. Like, you can't be racing in stock class. You got to bump it on up, man. Yeah. And so then I was... (laughs) You're going to hit the ceiling eventually. Yeah, it's just... You can't get any better. Because, honestly, with flat track racing a mini bike speed is your friend yeah you're never gonna kick out your rear you're never gonna feel that that movement in a stock speed you just can't and oftentimes going slow like that is more dangerous Mm -hmm. and you're usually on a bigger kind of like coleman style bike is usually what people bring out to try to race which that frame is it's all right you know but we motovox frame is is lower kind of and not you don't sit up so high on yeah. it. <laughs> the riding geometry is different. Yeah, yeah. it's because we don't have like a rake really. We don't have a lot of adjustments that you can make in like a dirt bike or a flat track motorcycle yeah. where you have all of that and you can tweak it and tire pressure and stuff like that. So um, the faster you go, the better you'll get. I mean, you'll gain you more. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yeah. I didn't believe it. Like, I was like, no way. Mm-mm. I'll never. Heck no. <laughs> I speed up. Like, <laughs> and honestly, less brakes is, is a very beneficial thing, too. If you're having a hard time kind of figuring out the track, just lose a little bit of your brake. We'll let them wear down and don't change them. <laughs> yeah. That was my best race I ever did. It was the first race I ever did well was a race that I didn't have brakes. Nice. <laughs> oh, you just, like, they Well, they had, there. like, they had, I don't know what had happened. You'd have to ask Mason. But um, I guess I usually just relied on him too much. You know, I'd be going around the track, and I, I'm i not, a, I don't rush the corners. You know, I do the opposite, where I, like, slow down too much. And oh. once once I had no brakes, you know, I just had to find a good speed and go yep. with it. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> and then I finally started to feel it. I was like, oh, my God. What was that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so without that, you stock, I like the idea of it for maybe like a kid, you know, like a maybe 12 and under or <laughs> 15 yeah. and under. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I, just like, I just like stock racers. You should be racing children. <laughs> no. I'm joking. I don't know. I'm sure. If you're an adult, you can go fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I, so I, I, so maybe that is the thing is we need to promote, we need people to have spaces and time that they can practice not worry about looking bad. Everybody's going to be the same boat. <laughs> yeah, like, ev- like everyone is trying to improve on their skills and their craft. Mm-hmm. And so we need to have a space where people can actually like afford to look bad. Yeah, like with other people that are also doing the same thing. And know? are also going to look bad. Yes, like that's, the you know. <laughs> there was one race that we did. It was in Monticello, thank goodness. Because if not, like I probably would never mini bike race again. But <laughs> <laughs> I decided to race. I think it was Mason's bike, Smoke. Okay, yeah, yeah. And before that, like, my bike hadn't been upgraded yet. You know, I still had Fuego, but it was slow. Okay. okay. It was, like, maybe, like, stage one, 212. Got you. And so we're on the line, and, and, you know, I'm used to having to grab the throttle a little bit, hold the brake, like, get ready to go, get the whole shot, you know? So I proceed to do that on Mason's bike, and checker, or flag goes down, and I literally, poof, wheelie, backflip, like, oh, off the, no. immediately. Oh, no. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> I got up and I'm like, yeah, okay, it wasn't that bad. I'm gonna keep racing. I'm not. That's all I can do at this point. You kept racing. That's a, that's a big thing right there. You didn't want to walk it off. Oh, I wish it was good. But then, <laughs> so going around the track, I had something called target fixation. So these oh. the orange cones, they were just like blowing my mind. I could not look away from them. I'm like, I don't need to hit those. And so I'm, well, you you go where you look. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. It's, it's the truth. And so I hit the cone straight on. 
front flip over oh, the cone, no. land in the soft like Georgia clay mud they mix with like Dawn dish soap oh. and like all this stuff. It's on GoPro. Oh, I'll have no. to find the video. Yes. But then I kind of after that I was like, okay, am I good? Like my body parts are still there. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, you know, like you don't know the limit until you pass it. <laughs> 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 and also you have to wreck to be okay with it i mean you have this great fear of like oh my gosh it's gonna be so bad which it can be it really can be i'm not saying that it's not that it's not a big deal yeah but usually it's not that bad yeah. and you can kind of just get up and be like okay just myself off like i'm not gonna do that anymore i'm not gonna look at that cone and you learn as you as you kind of evolve and so I think you can't be afraid, and this is coming from me, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you can't be afraid. You just have to do what you're comfortable with, like what's in your skill set, and race to the best of your ability at that point in, while, up in your race career, okay. I guess. What would, what would you like to see in the mini bike community over the next five to ten years? Like what, would you, what kind of evolution do we want to have? a larger national scale like league do we want to have more races around the country for you guys to travel to <laughs> or well, like what is it what would you like to see from this community and see how it grows i think it's growing at an exponential rate to be mm -hmm. honest i mean i credit that to y'all primarily you know i mean it's it's crazy what y'all been able to do to do but also i think it would be cool to have something like you know the amra like a to be sanctioned in a motorcycle kind of or motorsport group where yeah. there's a class for mini bikes, which we have raced with Arma before, which is like a, a vintage motorcycle flat track class. And we've raced with Seft before in Georgia, with the, which is Southeast Flat Track. And they've actually okay. put the Misfit class. Oh, nice. so, oh that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, we are a motorsport, you know? So we. Honestly, motorcycle, like quarter mile tracks, they're great. And we race them the opposite direction too. So we're getting a different kind of pattern than the regular motorcycles themselves. Yeah. Nice. And so now that we don't tear up the track, it's a win-win. And so I, with a good set of rules, basic rules, you know, you can't exclude people because we can't lose anybody. Yeah, you know, we, like need, <laughs> we yeah, need everybody. Yeah. yeah. But it has to be something that is pretty basic but straightforward that if I show up to a motocross of, or I guess like a flat track event, like I know that what I'm bringing, I'll be able to run it. Yeah. Which if you come out and want to race with us, like nine times out of 10, we don't say no. Yeah. I mean, if you can bring big motor, small motor, we don't really like methanol on the dirt track, you know, yeah. <laughs> but we probably let you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. If you want to run, I don't see how fast like, you can get, You brought sure. that bike, you took your time, you came out here. We're going to make it work in some way, yeah, even yeah. if you get to ride alone and feel it out or ride with somebody. I mean, we need everybody that we can and everybody's style of mini bike is different. And mm -hmm. that's also what makes it so cool is that, I mean, what I like is definitely not what Mason likes. It's not what Tim likes. Now, yeah. our basic style is the same, but the customization is something that is individual to everybody. So the rules kind of have to encompass that in a way to where everybody can just feel confident in what they bring out. If I bring a, a mini bike out, I'm going to race it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, but yeah, having that, having that knowledge that like, I know exactly what I need to be bringing mm -hmm. and I need to know that when I bring it, I will be able to run it. And the rules probably will have to evolve too. You know, I mean, new motors come out, bigger yeah. CCs, which is something we've dealt with. Yeah. With the, we've had a 212 limit and we've been discussing, I mean, we pretty much have agreed on like allowing bigger motors and so how big how big are we talking how how high up are you guys considering for our flat track i mean i don't know exactly i mean right now we pretty much we're pretty quick yeah. you know our motors are are not any we don't racing like four four hundreds or whatever, i don't know <laughs> but our 301s but you would probably be able to race with us and I don't know. It's skill just as much as it is speed and power behind so just, what you have. So just showing up with that big engine does not necessarily no, guarantee a win. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. Okay. You usually can't utilize power like that around a track. It's yeah. not, it's only so big. Yeah. You know, I, if I, my bike can go 200 miles an hour, like I'm not going to be able to use to that. Yeah. yeah. And so gotcha. there's a fine balance. There really is. And so we'll probably find the sweet spot. Like, okay. you know, where, I mean, this is the maximum amount of CCs that are make sense. Otherwise, you're adding weight. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger yes, motors, more true. weight. Yeah. So I think that's what makes mini biking cool. If you yeah. want to bring that big motor and you're a small person, it might work out for you. 
and you just have to tailor it to fit. Or you might what you go want. up a tree. You might. Like, <laughs> you might you go know. over a cone. You might. Yeah. Backflip into a wheelie. It's yeah. just your life. But it's yeah. It's like not to doubt. There, there's there's inherent danger in these activities. But I think a lot of people in their heads, the crash is much worse than it actually is. People are like, I'm gonna crash, and it's going to be the end of everything. And it's like. It's like a double-edged sword, you know, because yeah. there's people that, like, if they don't think that way, then they are the ones with, like, shattered collarbones or, like, oh, broken, yeah. like, backs and stuff, you know, like, it's something tragic. Yeah. But usually if you err on the side of caution, you're going to be okay. Yeah. You know, blind confidence is never good. Yeah. And so, like, me, I went up the tree. You know, I'm thought, oh, this is too long, small, I'll be fine. And that... That is wrong. So, <laughs> cautious confidence. Yes. There we go. Cautious confidence. And it, and it confidence. grows. It yeah. grows as you grow. <laughs> Just float, the mi- float in the middle. Yeah. You're safe there, you know? <laughs> Overconfidence, no confidence, the middle line is middle ground. There you go. To a change uh, <laughs> way the story is going, I was curious about your traveling party. You have two in your party. They're dogs. <laughs> Are they your dogs? So, one is my dog. Which one? Um, Jug. Jug. Is that the white pit bull? Yes. It looks like a cuddly bear. It just wants to be picked up and snuggled on, right? Um, he's my baby. Okay. <laughs> he's been going to the track with us ever since he was a puppy. So Dang, he's a he's a track dog. dog. How yeah. old is he? He just turned two on November third. Oh, that's a big two <laughs> two year old. That's a the, big puppy. Yeah. The first year we came out here, he had just been born. And oh. so I was so scared the whole time. I'm like, the picture of Jug. Somewhere right here. Yeah. I was gonna try to get him in the interview, you know, I'm sure he had a few things to say. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's very opinionated. Um, nice. Okay. But yeah, his name is is Juggernaut, so his namesake. Nice. Oh, that's where Jug. Okay, yes. I was going to ask where Jug comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, damn, we need to get him a Juggernaut shirt, man. Something. His yeah. head too. I mean, it's it's a jug head. Yeah. So. Oh, he is a, he is a jug head. <laughs> so. so yep, and then we have a golden doodle, which I know Mark Mark appreciates. Um, <laughs> because of allergies or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she's her name's Cleo, and that's Mason's sister and. His brother-in-law's dog. So oh, she's okay. super okay. well-behaved. Just as old as Jug. They were born, like, within two weeks of one another. Nice. Oh, okay, good. And she's, I think, 45, maybe 50 pounds. Jug's about 92. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. she's the boss. Yeah. Jug is terrified. That is crazy. <laughs> she's the <laughs> boss lady. She gets the toys. He cowers. Like, his size, he has no idea. Yeah. He's like, J- I'm the smallest dog ever. Yeah. She's mean to me. She's not even yeah. mean. So. You are a meaty pit, uh, pit bull. So you have it's, to maybe it's about. better he doesn't know. Yeah, I guess that is. Yeah. Right. When people see him, they're, like, terrified of him. Yeah. You know, like, oh, my God. He's got that. He has such a throaty bark, bark and growl. Man. And But yeah, the thing bark. is, like, then you get up and he, he's like, oh, no, he's a big old sweetheart, man. Yeah. Like, he's, he's just a baby. I don't know why or when he started doing that, but it's to get you to play with him, which mm. is counterintuitive. His yeah. brain, I guess, doesn't work like that. He thinks if I bark at you as loud as... And if, Loud as I possibly can, like you'll notice me. And well, because like a dog, get my toy. Yeah. like yeah. dogs, that's how they do it. Is they that like dogs will the way they communicate with each other is they basically they play and then they bark at each other and that's yeah. And he's in, in a group of three dogs, you know. So if he's not the loudest, he thinks he's just going to be looked over. <laughs> Poor he's got to yeah. gotta duke it out. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go give Jug a little love later on. Yes. Yeah. Hey, he might he might race one eighty next yeah. year. Also, uh, we have a few things that we'd like to give you for coming yeah. on the show. We want to Thanks, say thank y'all. you. I've been trying to be better about giving presents to our peoples. Thank uh, you. So this is brand new merch, and if you don't like it, you can give it to whoever. But <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> we we, uh, we got some. We got a baseball tee out. Oh, Boom! That's awesome. Go Power Sports Race Team. Ooh, that's for you. Thank you. Dope. Sick. And then. I, I this is on a whim. I got a women's crop top in that same kind of style. And nice. I don't know. I was like, maybe Mackenzie won't wear this. And I saw you wear a crop top <laughs> earlier. I was like, oh, I think she will I wear will. it. I so. will. I'm the crop top queen. There you <laughs> For go. now, anyway. Crop, crop yeah. As queen. long as the mini bike race, I'll probably be wearing a crop top. I'm yeah. not going to say. That's crazy because uh, Mason called himself that too. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy this morning, he was going to wear his crop top. He actually had it all ready to go. He was ready to leave the house. And Mason told him he could not wear it. So. What? Whoa, whoa. No, Mason, get... you should not. <laughs> he was, you, cannot, I, bo- you cannot body shame people like that. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's not acceptable. I think <laughs> Must have been. Well, you know what? All eyes would have been on Tim. Tell tell Mason that he can come on over and we will give him a crop top because we need models 
for our website photos. I we need love photos. To get I Timmy want. To I don't know if I got one big Timmy enough. Timmy would but wear it. I know he would. <laughs> I think the biggest I have is an extra large, and I think he might be bigger than that. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Only one way to find maybe out. Not, maybe not up here. <laughs> no. You know? I mean, the top. It might, I don't know. This part is a little big. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna see if we can get that going. <laughs> let's get, let's do it. Mason, you, just blur out the face. You know, his hair's long. I'm not like, oh. this is well, actually, no, yeah. If we just, <laughs> if we just turn him around, like, yeah. <laughs> One time he was, a, he said a motorcycle. I think he was doing something on his motorcycle. Is it at an event of some kind? Like maybe at Harley Davidson or something. Yeah. And they had a bikini bike wash going okay. on at the same time. Oh no. And Mason. Somebody, I guess, thought he was a woman and starts like, hey, you there. Like, hey, sweetie. Oh, like cat calling him, you know? Because <laughs> yes. he's squat down, like, doing something. He's got his Daisy and, like, Dukes on. <laughs> his ponytail around. He's like, bro, what? And then, <laughs> and then, huge beard. <laughs> and then the dude's like, you heard me. <laughs> You're exactly you what man. I wanted. This is Georgia. I'm <laughs> 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 joking. <laughs> Sorry, Georgia. I think I'm like, what's that movie? He's got those Georgia peaches going on, man. <laughs> He's okay. a fuzzy one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And on that note. <laughs> yeah. On that note, if anyone has a funny Georgia <laughs> line, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, Mackenzie, I want to thank you so much for being our thank first you. ever and an awesome guest, first ever woman on here. So thank you. Good luck on the GPS 180 race coming up. Yep. We hope to see you soon. Yeah, same. It uh, was a fun time. Yeah. Make sure to give Juggernaut a big hug for us. I will. I'm sure we'll go ahead, go down there and try to ride him that for a is, little bit. That is, I'm literally, I'm bolting out of my seat as soon as we can. <laughs> okay. But guys, thank you so much. This has been another episode of Mini Biking Ain't Easy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and as always, ride on. Good job, Mackenzie. Killed it.